Niles, Niles, what happened? Was that Maris I saw running out of here? Yes, she saw Mimi pawing me and assumed the worst. Uh, I've got to go speak to her. Uh, how upset did she look? Oh, I couldn't oh. see past the outfit. Who wears a black dress and a veil on a cruise? Ross, the woman has virtually no pigmentation. Three minutes in the sun, she'd see her like an ahi tuna. <laughs> She's supposed to be in Switzerland. What's she doing here? Niles, Niles, I'm sorry. I'm afraid that this may be partly my fault. You see, I, I left a message on her machine saying how upset you were and that it might be fun if she could join us on the cruise. You invited her to come and didn't tell me? I thought it would be a nice surprise. Oh, well, it worked out perfectly. <laughs> She's probably on the phone right now arranging to fly home from the next port. Excuse me, excuse me. The lady who sent me the champagne, do you happen to know which stateroom she's in? No, sir. But she did ask me to give you a message. Yes. <laughs> God. Oh, I feel so guilty. When will I learn to stop interfering in other people's affairs? I better go talk to Maris and see if I can fix this. <laughs> You gonna butt in again? I don't see what business that is of yours. Where's your dad? Oh no, oh no. If he finds out, I'll never hear the end of it. Boy, that taste of Alaska spread was a bust. Wanna know what caribou meat tastes like? Chicken. Not chicken. <laughs> Where's Niles? He's out for a walk. Oh, I may as well tell you the whole thing. He... Maris is on board. She and Niles had a, a horrible fight and. Their marriage is in worse shape than it's ever been before. I mean, no need telling you how she got here in the first place. I know, I know. What was I thinking, inviting her to come on the cruise? You invited Maris? Yeah, well, Niles was so upset about being alone on their anniversary, it seemed like a good idea. Smart, huh? I give you all this guff about button in, and then I turn around and do the same damn thing. Oh, Dad, don't be too hard on yourself. <laughs> Fraser? Oh, all right. I invited Maris, too. You did? Yeah. I thought I told you to keep your big bazooka. Oh, you don't want to talk. Well, so what are we going to do now? Nothing. Nothing at all. Just let them resolve their own differences. Stay on the sidelines where we belong. All right. Ooh, better get going. I'm going to miss the first seating for dinner. Well, Dad, my lecture's in 15 minutes. Oh, jeez. Well, I guess I can't do everything. Tell me how it went at the midnight buffet. <laughs> well, I guess we better head over to your lecture. Right. First, I'm going to go talk to Maris. You just said... Forget what I said. You're coming along, too. Why do you need me? I don't even know because her. you can vouch for Niles' innocence. Oh, all right. I'm kind of curious to meet her anyway. You know, in all these years, I've never actually seen her face. Well, I haven't seen her most recent one, so this will be a new experience for both of us. <laughs> Frazier has left the building.